So as we come down, you can see that it actually bounced off of that. And then the next candle, it broke down. Hey, what's going on traders? Welcome to the Zero to Hero Trader YouTube channel, where we teach you the ins and outs of trading the markets to make you a better trader. Now, before we get started, make sure that you like and subscribe down below that you can get notified when we post another video. And last but not least, if you're interested in some of the custom studies that we use in our videos on the channel, I uh, dropped a link in the description below where you can go and check those out if you like. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be going into a deep dive into another reversal pattern, the double top. Let's go. subscribe all right guys so the double top is a bearish reversal pattern okay this is a bearish reversal pattern and with this pattern we're gonna have six different components to this pattern okay to make up this pattern so component number one the first thing that's gonna happen is this is gonna need to be in an uptrend because this is a bearish reversal pattern okay so number one is this uptrend. You got price moving up, and then we're gonna have component number two. It's going to form a high, okay? So you're gonna get a little reversal there at the high as it reaches a resistance point. That's gonna be number two. Number three, it's gonna come down, find support, and form this third component of support here. Component number four, it's gonna come back up. And this is what confirms a double top is that it's going to find resistance at the exact same point or very close to it of that first resistance. All right, and then it's gonna roll over, come back down and where we're gonna to want to enter or look to enter is at this fifth component our neckline and our neckline is drawn with a horizontal line at this support level which was point number three okay so once it forms this level comes up and makes our component number four rolls over we get our neckline here drawn we're looking to enter as it breaks down okay and then we wait for the flush now where would we place our stops okay our stops for me I like to place my stop above this high right here. Okay, above this resistance point. All right, and then you'll let it ride and take that for however much profit you like, okay? All right, guys, so that is the deep dive on the double top. Let's go see if we can find one in the charts. Okay, guys, so I'm in the charts now and I found this one here and of course, as always, it's not going to be as picture perfect as I showed you in the slides there, just because price action is random and it hardly ever makes uh, the exact perfect pattern. But as you learn these patterns and uh, learn what they look like, you'll be able to see them form in real time and you shouldn't have any problem with that. Okay, so here's one that looks pretty good um, that you could have taken and made a trade off of this. Okay, so we have our uptrend. All right, it's moving up. It forms our component number two. This first high rolls over, comes down, finds support, comes back up, trends up a little bit. And then we find our component number three. It makes this high right here almost exactly to the tick of where it made the first high. So that's our double top right there. And now we're looking forward to start rolling over. So when it starts to roll over, I'm gonna go down here and pick my horizontal line. Pop that in right there. And this is where I'm gonna to look to enter, okay? So as we come down, you can see that it actually bounced off of that. And then the next candle, it broke down. Okay, so this is where I would look to enter, right here and take that for a few points there uh, or however however many uh, points you like to take and yeah that's it i would put my stop up here okay and this would just me be me scalping just scalping that trade taking a little piece and getting out 
All right, now if you wanted to go for a longer, if you wanted to go for a longer trade, bigger profit here, another thing that you can do is you can wait instead of getting in at the breakout or the breakdown, you can wait for price to come back up and retest that neckline, okay? And if it retests this neckline and gets rejected again, finds resistance at the neckline, you typically get a much harder flush and therefore more profit. Okay, so that's just a little bonus. And I would uh, place my stop at the exact same point up here above your double top here, okay? So that's just a little bonus. Uh, if you want a little higher probability trade, that's the way to go is waiting for it to come back up after it breaks out, come back up and uh, find a little bit of resistance at the neckline and then rolling back over. Okay, so if you want to do it this way, you would place your trade somewhere in here as we started to roll over. All right, let me see if I can find another one here. We'll go for two examples in this one. Okay guys, here's another one that's a pretty good example. Uh, right before the end of the day here on the SPY. Uh, I don't know what day this is, but this looks like a really nice example on a five minute chart. So we'll go through these one more time. We have an uptrend. We formed our component number two, the first high. Comes down, finds a little support for number three. Comes back up, finds resistance almost exactly where it found resistance before. Rolls right on over and dies at that neckline all right and you get the flush there okay guys so that is the deep dive on the double top bearish reversal pattern if you like this video please leave us a like and subscribe to the channel and if you haven't yet check that description also for the uh free pdf of the classic chart patterns that we made for you here uh you can go in and uh, download that and have it by your side while you're trading you can print it out whatever you like to do with it okay that's a free gift to you and that's pretty much it guys if you want to see more content like this leave us a comment down below on your favorite pattern to trade and maybe we'll do one over that okay guys i will see you in the next video